Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have my January Authentic Books box to share with you and I'm so excited. This is not just a book subscription, it's really almost a lifestyle style box as well because of all of the awesome goodies that we receive and one of the things that I really like about authentic books is how customizable it is because every month you actually get to choose between two different book selections and she has now added the option where if you just can't choose which is often the case because usually both books look great you can actually add on and get the other book as well which I think is such a nice uh, take some of the choice out of it some of the FOMO out of it and then there's also three different subscriptions tiers. She has the mini box for $39. She has the full experience for $49 and then the premium box which is what I get which is $59. Now all of them are great and have a nice assortment of items that really speak to all of the senses. That's kind of how she curates each of the boxes and I think it's so impressive that she curates basically two whole boxes each month because there's always two different book selections. Now in the mini box you're going to get the book that you've selected, a custom custom bookmark, a beautiful candle, and a self-care item, which I think is awesome, as well as a Spotify playlist. And part of the proceeds, 5% are donated to whatever organization she has chosen for that quarter. Then in the full experience, you're going to, of course, get all of those items, as well as an extra self-care item. And you get to choose between a cocktail um, ingredient or a premium tea. I usually go for the uh, cocktail ingredient, of course. And then finally, for the premium experience you get all of those items as well as an extra self-care item for a total of three and a premium chocolate and of course that is why I choose the premium experience this box was sent to me for review so thank you so much to Natisha now right now you guys because they have been so popular she is closed to new subscribers but hopefully that is gonna open up at the beginning of March so be on the lookout follow me over on Instagram I'll try to remind you follow them over on Instagram once that opens back up you can save 10% using my code Noel 10 so I will definitely leave that for you guys in the description box below when that time comes but let's go ahead and get into the January box and see what we've got always an experience in a box and always so beautifully done so my book selection for January was the wife upstairs by Rachel Hawkins and she does this great little pamphlet and I'll show you how it's kind of organized so she shows us each of the items and then some of them actually correspond to pages in the book so again I think that just really heightens the experience of reading some of the items of course you don't necessarily have to wait until a certain page to uh, use I usually like to have that Spotify playlist play get my candle burning every once in a while because I have such a, a big to be red pile I go ahead and burn the candle a little ahead of time um, so we got our book and it looks like we've got all of these awesome items you guys which I will tell you a little bit more about and then she does have kind of like a key at the top it tells you what sense that item is speaking to and then it also tells you which boxes it was included in so it will say like M for mini and then F for full and P for premium so because we have the premium box here we got everything which is great so then we have like a whole separate little card this time for the book cocktail because in the past it's actually been like a staple booklet and then she would have like the cocktail in here but I think that's just like a lot of extra work so now it's just like a single page that's just folded and then for the uh, book cocktail uh, of course you know you might not have gotten the the cocktail ingredient uh, it is a bad girls margarita that is inspired by the wife upstairs which sounds delish and then she also always does like a recipe which I think is really great as well if you're like someone who likes to get into the kitchen and you want to have like a meal along with your reading experience this sounds really good too it is a garlic butter steak you guys wow sounds like an indulgent evening at home totally into it and it looks like we have in the past the boxes have been donating that 5% to the Malala Fund and now we've switched it up a little bit and it says inspired by Angie Hockman author of Shipped so that was the other book I think that you could have selected for this month 5% of profits from your memberships were donated to the Charles Darwin Foundation supporting the conservation of the Galapagos Islands you guys that is a bucket list destination for me so I'm really happy to hear we have a very like eco-conscious uh, uh, organization that we are donating to this time around 
All right, and then inside we have the purple shred and the beautiful presentation. So let's take a look. Usually the book is on the bottom, but I'll tell you a little bit more about the book once we get to it. Here is our customized uh, bookmark, and they always have these gorgeous silky tassels, and I have all of my books kind of like lined up on the shelf now with all the tassels like hanging out. It's really fun. So it's always got a quote from the book. It says, how had I married a monster and never seen it until it was too late? <laughs> That's kind of a funny like bookmark to have out. I should just like leave it out and see if my husband even notices. Probably won't, but you know, it would be funny to see if he does. All right, so everything is all wrapped nicely. So I'm guessing this is probably either our candle or our cocktail ingredient because she has these nice little envelopes to make sure everything is shipped well. And I'm also like always really impressed by how much stuff she manages to fit into the boxes. So let's see what this one is. Oh, oh. Pulling it out. It's neither of the things that I mentioned. This is actually one of our self-care items. It is the sugar scrub, and it says that uh, this has to do with page 11, so nice and early in the book. So this is touch number two, so this only appears in the full and premium boxes, but that looks yummy. It's by More Candle Company. It says, Southern Hospitality is a sugar scrub with scents of coffee and cream. Ooh, that sounds so good. Uh, treat yourself to this exfoliant and take a little daydream to an island far away. So let me see if it's open it might be sealed if it's sealed I usually leave it but oh that does smell like coffee it's sugar scrubs you guys whenever they send them to us I always want to like eat them it's like frosting in a jar but I will be good I will not eat it don't worry don't worry um, but we'll put that off to the side all right let's go for our second bubble wrapped item and see what this one is maybe this is our cocktail mixer that's what I'm guessing Let's see. So this is, of course, is taste. And self-care items are usually, you know, for touch. And this, yes, this is by the Bang Candy Company. So this is a company we haven't seen in the subscription box yet. It's a simple syrup. Ooh, it's habanero lime. My husband really likes his margaritas, and I'm sure he will be really excited about this. I'll have to try to get him to actually follow the recipe and make me one as well. But this is the uh, week of love in our household because it's our anniversary and and then also Valentine's Day, so maybe he will uh, be accommodating and make me a cocktail too. It says this is associated with page 57, so not too far in, that's good too. If you did not get the cocktail mixer, you would have gotten the black loose leaf tea. Oh, spiced peaches though, that does sound good as well. I like peach flavored almost anything, so that would have been a good one to do an add-on and get, get both items. Here is our candle, and this is again by the Price Collective. It looks a little different than usual. It says Thornfield Estates. It's just got like a little sticker on it. There's a little bubble in my sticker, but I'll probably be able to squeeze that out. Uh, you guys know I'm like a stickler for like presentation just because I like to take photos over on Instagram, so I'll have to like flatten out that label. And then the Price Collective always does an amazing job with decorating their candles, so it looks like we've got some florals and some little like crystals or pieces of glass in there. A couple of them have gotten a little bit loose, but it does just kind of add to the presentation of a simple white candle otherwise in a simple jar, but very, very cute. Let's see what the smell, what the scent is. Ooh, ooh, that's like floral and fruity at the same time. Of course, they'll tell me in the description I'm totally wrong, but so it says Thornfield Estates is a blend of blackberry and jasmine. Okay, so I was I was on it. Uh, the sweet smell of a rich southern suburb full of secrets and sweet tea. Look closely and you'll see pink larkspur and fluorite. So that's what that was in there. So blackberry and jasmine. Good scent combination. Totally into that. And what's great, you guys, this says it's associated with page one. So again, it's just to kind of set the tone of your reading experience. And the candle is included in all of the subscription tears which if I had to pick one item that I would want to make sure was in every single box the candle would always be it because I, I just love it and what's always really cute you guys she always includes like a little branded authentic books match book as well a match box so love that all right this is the good stuff you guys we have got we have got the chocolate, which is only in the premium experience. Um, and this has been by Compartes, and she's definitely used them before. But their packaging, you guys, is just gorgeous. It almost makes me never want to open it. But of course, I get over that because I want the stuff that's inside. This is 
bourbon pecan pie milk chocolate bourbon pecan pie so this is for those of you who are saying it's always dark chocolate and i don't like dark chocolate we got some milk chocolate um but look at that packaging you guys i flip these like leopards it's very like fierce um totally into that so it says i love this she put page question mark because you know she knows people like me might not even uh, open the book quite yet before we crack into the chocolate uh so it says filled with luscious pecans pecan pie and bourbon what can be better um i don't know honestly i'm, I'm really really excited about that so we can make your like butter garlic steak and then your margaritas and after that indulgent meal then you can tuck into some chocolate sounds like a good night to me maybe you get around to the book as well maybe not all right, here is a self-care item, diamond eye pads. Ooh, these are very shiny. It's gonna be very reflective. Let me get some of the dust off so you get the full effect, you guys, of this holographic packaging. It says, this is associated with page 78, so you have to wait a little while for this one. It says, we all know diamonds are a girl's best friend. This is by Vitamasks. It says, these diamond extract eye pads infused with caffeine are designed to brighten and depuff the under eye area with a unique skin gel formula. I love under eye patches. It's like my favorite like self-care thing, so I'm really happy with that, and this is the self-care item that was in all of the boxes at all of the tiers so that is a nice item to receive and a nice usable item you know let's see we've got another mask so this is the one that was i believe in just the premium boxes so um if you got the full experience you also got that sugar scrub as well so this is by face story which is a pretty familiar brand to most of us it says let's talk it's a detox purifying pore mask so i gotta love a sheet mask so let's see it says it doesn't have a page number for this one says this purifying pore mask with charcoal and volcanic ash will help detoxify clogged pores, making them less visible and leaving your skin smooth and soft. So that all sounds good to me. Uh, you can definitely kind of do the mask and the chocolate at the same time. Be careful that you don't get the mask in your mouth. And then we also have our little Spotify playlist, which comes in this cute little envelope now, which I think is adorable. I have to be better. I have finally listened to like one of them, but I need to like listen to more of them. I get really distracted though by music. So sometimes I wind up just like listening to the music instead of like focusing on the book. So I have to be like really like careful because it's like that's a multitasking thing that I sometimes uh, get distracted all right here we go you guys now usually uh, I think there's been only one time where I've gotten a paperback because that's what was available to her versus uh getting the hardcover and I have now become like a hardcover snob and I really love getting my hardcovers especially from authentic books usually there's like a little seal on it but there, I don't see mine it could have fallen off it did it fell off so I might like like super glue it back on there because I think again that's a nice touch and also to remember where I got the book from so we did get a nice hardcover and like I said I have them all lined up like most of my books like on one of my bookshelves they're all like alphabetized and by genre and then on one of my bookshelves I did that very like hipster thing and it's all like just color coordinated so it's like in a rainbow and uh, then with these like there's an authentic books like section on my shelf where I'm like but they all have like beautiful tassels and I love seeing all of the the spines all facing out so we got a nice hardcover book it's a like good sized one too and often she's able to get them signed or have a book plate and that is the case you guys we got a nice book plate with a signature so that is such a nice touch I think and one of the great things about getting your books through a book subscription where she can kind of work that out so really good you guys so let's um just read a little bit about what this is all about it says a vivid reimagining of one of literature's most twisted love triangles meet Jane newly arrived to Birmingham Alabama Jane is a broke dog dog walker in Thornfield Estates, a gated community full of McMansions, shiny SUVs, and board housewives, the kind of place where no one will notice if Jane lifts the discarded tchotchkes and jewelry off the side tables of her well-heeled clients, where no one will think to ask if Jane is even her real name. Meet Eddie. Recently widowed, he has become Thornfield Estates' most mysterious resident ever since his wife B drowned in a boating accident with her best friend, their bodies lost to the deep. Jane can't help but see an opportunity in Eddie. Not only is he rich, brooding, and handsome, but he could also offer the kind of protection she craves. Yet, as the two fall for each other, Jane is haunted by the legend of B, an ambitious beauty and successful entrepreneur with a rags to riches origin story. How can she, plain Jane, ever measure up? And can Jane, with Eddie's heart before her, 
past or his, can Jane win Eddie's heart before her past or his catches up with her? With delicious suspense, incisive wit, and a fresh feminist sensibility, the wife upstairs flips the script on Jane Eyre and timeless tale of forbidden romance, ill-advised attraction, and a wife who just won't stay buried. That sounds really good to me. And I love that like they kind of admitted that it's like a retelling of a story. Sometimes I feel like sometimes it's very thinly veiled. And then you're like, wait, this is pretty much the same as X, Y, or Z. So I like that they kind of admit that. Um, and I'm really excited about it. And I just think it's kind of pretty. I think these are like magnolias in the background. So it definitely sounds like a good uh, thriller slash romance to, to tuck into. Uh, let me know if you guys have read the book in the description, in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what your favorite item was. And like I said, be on the lookout to get onto their subscriber list when it opens back up in March, hopefully even sooner. If you enjoyed this video, you guys, please do give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.